this reaction keeps us from being able to be there for people. I went through something like this with, a man, with my second husband, man I'm married to now, uh, where he would get reactive any time that I would give him, make a behave, request a behavior change or say something wasn't working, he'd get very defensive. And I just reached a point where I, said, I, can't, I cannot be in a relationship where I can't give honest feedback, where I can't speak up for myself. That just doesn't work. And he says, but this is the way I've always been. I don't know how to do it any different. What can I do? I said, well, let's do an exercise. Bing, you know. <laughs> I said, let's do an exercise where I criticize you and you come back with a compliment for me. <laughs> he said, okay. And we did it. Now, I was very careful. I didn't hit below the belt. But I might say, you're a couch potato. And he'd say, well, you have beautiful feet. <laughs> it was amazing. We both felt liberated by it. And he has never gone back to that old pattern. I did not expect it to be so powerful. Why would you guess it worked? Why did it work? An exercise made it safe, but it broke a habitual pattern. He had a pattern of coming back with anything that seemed criti critical uh, with defensiveness and a counterattack. And just by practicing something different, he created the pathways. That was a very blessed day <laughs> <laughs> for both of us, for both of us. So think, feel, and want. That's what you listen for with the other people, and that's what you listen for when you say what you mean.